I'm just using the X phone. What is going on guys? My name is Louis and today I will be talking about the Expo. I know that a lot of you guys probably think that Expo is only for noobs, but Supercell think it should be a part of the game and they're probably never gonna change it. And I think the reason why so many people flame it is because it's so difficult to play against. So in this video I will tell you guys how we can play with it and more important how we can play against it. I think that the most common Expo deck around at the moment is something like this. So of course you have the Expo, you have the Rocket, the Lock, the Fire and the Ice Spirit. These are the four most important cards of the Expo deck. The Lock, the Fire and the Ice Spirit is probably the three most important cards in this deck because they are made to protect your Expo from your enemy's troops. If you don't have the Lock, you can always use arrows. In the first part of the video, I will talk about how to play with the Expo. So guys, what is making an Expo deck so strong? First of all, is if you have an elixir advantage on your enemy, you can keep playing the Expo and your enemy can only defend against it. And as long as you protect your Expo perfect, your enemy don't have a chance to counter you. When we look at this game, we know that we finally have the elixir advantage. At this point, we can place the Expo to the right and force our enemy to keep defending. If we look at the amount of elixir that I use to protect my Expo and the amount of elixir that my enemy used to try to defend against my Expo, the math is pretty simple. Including my Expo, I used 15 elixir and I forced my enemy to use 18 elixir just for defending. When I place my Expo in the lift lane, I reset the game but I have a huge elixir advantage. At this moment all I have to do is defending my Expo. As long as I keep him away from attacking my Expo, I'm pretty sure that I will win the game soon. At this moment, he's forced to use his lightning, which means he used 6 elixir and I can place a new expo for free. When you hit a part of the game where you're using less elixir to defend your expo than your enemy using trying to kill it, you just have to keep on going. Well guys, this is the funny part of the expo deck. Before you can get to this part, you have to play defensive and get an elixir advantage. In my opinion, the best defensive tower for an expo deck is the Inferno Tower. The reason why is when you look at all the offensive cards, you can counter them easy and don't lose any elixir. In fact, it's only the Hogwarter that you will lose one elixir against. You will either use the same amount of elixir or you will gain elixir. Alright guys, let's look at the defensive part of this deck. At this moment I place my Musketeer in the back. I could also place the Knight, but the most important thing is that you play defensive. If you don't have any of those cards in your starting hand, you can easily use the Fire Spirit or the Ice Spirit in the beginning. In this case, my enemy's first move is to use the Miner and the Goblin Brown, which means 6 Elixir. And by using the Lock, I already have an Elixir advantage of 4. In this situation, I made a mistake by placing my Knight in the front. By placing my Knight in the front, I lost 3 Elixir. If I just placed him in the back, would I have 3 Elixir more to defending my upcoming Expo? So the most important thing about the Expo deck is to play defensive and wait for the right moment. The only card you should use in offense is the Expo, nothing else. Of course you can use the Rocket if it makes sense, but if you look at all the top Expo players, they will probably only use the Rocket in the last minute. Alright guys, this is the moment that most of you probably have been waiting for. But before we start talking about how to counter the Expo, I gotta tell you guys a secret. Apple and Microsoft almost forced me not to make this video. They said that if they sell 10 devices, two of them is actually a replacement for an old device broken by a Clash Royale player because they have destroyed the phone after losing to an Expo player. Isn't that sick? But guys, actually I don't care about Microsoft and Apple. All I wanna do is tell you how we can counter the Expo. In fact, it's pretty simple. When you see the Expo, don't panic. The biggest mistake you can do is trying to take the Expo out as fast as you can. When you think about it, the Expo costs the same amount of elixir as a rocket, and the rocket does around 500 damage to your tower. At tournament standards, it will take almost 7 seconds for the Expo to deal 500 damage to your tower. Plus, the Expo has a deploy time of 5 seconds. So as long as you can kill the Expo in under 12 seconds without using more than 6 elixir, then you have made a decent job. Always remember that an Expo user probably only have two offensive cards, the Rocket and the Expo. So as long as you can keep him away from those two cards, you will at least get a draw. But I would like to show you guys three different clips of how you can counter the Expo. 
In this clip, we can see that Trainer Garrett will use his cannon both for absorbing the damage from the expo and to kill it. We can also see that he don't panic. He will wait for his enemy to place the first troop and afterward he will place a counter troop, in this case the giant minion. He also chose to use his guards. In my opinion, this is a small mistake, but we all know how hard it is to make the perfect decisions in the battle. But we can still learn a lot from this clip. He had patience and he didn't rush it. That's the most important thing. At this moment, Eliguido knows that I have the expo. But instead of using his minions or his inferno dragon immediately, he will wait until his lava hound is close enough so he can back it up. As long as he can prepare for a huge push, he don't mind that my expo is dealing a little bit of damage to his tower. He simply knows that he can make a push that is stronger than my defense. So once again, when the expo don't deal more than 500 damage to your tower, it's alright. In the last clip, I will show you that one of the most effective ways of defending against an expo is to use a tank. If you place your giant in the opposite lane of the expo, you have plenty of time to kill the expo and to support your giant. Which means that your enemy is forced to use elixir in the opposite lane than the expo. Probably he don't have elixir enough to defend his expo and his tower. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe.